Volumetric Analysis of Copper II Ions The concentration of copper II ion in a solution will be determined by titration. Add distilled water into a small, clean beaker. Prepare a 10 milliliter volumetric pipette. First, rinse it with distilled water two times. Compress the bulb. Place the bulb onto the flat end of the pipette, making sure the bulb is flush with the end to prevent air leaks. Avoid wetting the top end of the pipette, as it would contaminate the bulb. Tip the pipette back to the normal vertical position and let the water drain out of the tip into a sink or waste beaker. Add a sufficient amount of unknown copper II ion solution into a clean, dry, small beaker and rinse the pipette two times. Discard the solution as it is considered contaminated. Refill the beaker with approximately 20 milliliters of the unknown copper II ion solution. Insert the pipette tip into the solution and draw in the solution until the liquid level is a couple of inches above the mark. Release the finger pressure slowly to allow the solution to drain until the bottom of the meniscus is at the eye level. Touch the tip of the pipette to the beaker to remove any partially formed drops. Hold the pipette tip against the inside of a clean 250 milliliter Erlenmeyer flask. The flask does not have to be dry. Remove your finger from the stem and allow the solution to drain from the pipette by gravity. Do not force the solution out. To the same Erlenmeyer flask, add about 20 milliliters of potassium iodide solution and about 10 milliliters of the acetic acid solution. The order of addition does not matter. A white precipitate will form and will stay throughout the entire titration. While you're preparing the titration samples, your partner can prepare the burette. Wash a burette with soap and rinse it thoroughly with distilled water. Remember to wash the tip as well. Transfer about 100 milliliters of sodium thiosulfate solution into a clean, dry beaker. This is considered your stock solution. Rinse the burette by adding about 15 milliliters of the sodium thiosulfate solution from the stock solution beaker into the burette using a funnel. Record the concentration of the sodium thiosulfate solution. 
Rinse the tip by opening the stop clock full force into a waste beaker. Rinse the burette again with another 15 milliliters of the titrant from your stock solution. Secure the burette to a stand using a burette clamp and fill the burette with the sodium thiosulfate solution. Ensure the burette is sitting properly in the grooves. It should be sitting straight up and down, not leaning forward or backward. Place the waste beaker under the tip. Open the stop clock full force to drain and fill the tip. Ensure there are no air bubbles. You may have to flick the tip or rotate the stop clock 180 degrees. Drain the burette so that the bottom of the meniscus is at the zero mark. Be sure to read the meniscus at eye level. Record the initial reading of the burette to two decimal places. The reading should be based on the bottom of the meniscus. Begin titration by allowing a steady flow of drops into the flask. The flask should be swirled continuously. When the solution color fades to a light yellow or beige, stop the titration and add about 5 drops of the 3% starch solution. The solution will turn to a light purple or gray color. The starch is added in order to help detect the end point of the titration. Continue the titration by adding more sodium thiosulfate solution dropwise. Add one drop, close the stop clock, swirl the solution, and see if the color disappears. If not, then continue adding the titrant one drop at a time, with a break between each addition until the color disappears. You may even have to add a partial drop when you're near the end point. At the end point, record the final burette reading. Again, be sure to record to two decimal places. Your partner should prepare the additional titration samples while you titrate the first sample. Your experiment is complete when you have at least three titration volumes that are within plus or minus 0.5 milliliters of each other. Clean the glassware and put away the equipment. <laughs>